Hey folks, Adam here, Elite Demonstrations. I'm going to show you up close and personal some uses and some details about this. It's the FKM, it's the 7830D. This is a great thermometer for measuring all sorts of stuff. You're gonna find this so useful. So let's go ahead and show you some examples and kick it off right about now. First, you can see my hot tub says 99 degrees. So let's go ahead and check the temperature in the hot tub. I'm gonna go ahead and point the laser at the water, scan it around a little bit, and wow, 99.3. So that is a real indicator, I would have never known, if this is accurate, and it is dead on accurate. That's fantastic. Next, folks, I'm walking out to the lake, and let's say that I was considering jumping in the lake going for a swim. I don't know what the temperature is down here, but I do wanna know. Let's go ahead and test it, check it out. That water is 70 degrees, and that may be a little too cool for me. I'm staying in the hot tub. All right, folks, now I wanna see what the temperature is out here. Let's go ahead and point it at the ground, and I can get an idea of what the actual temperature is out here. At least these objects are 69.8. So again, there's so many different uses. Yesterday, I had a guy come in, and he um, told me my air conditioner wasn't blowing up cold enough air. That's right. Um, he said I needed some coolant and that was going to be, it's gonna be costly. So um, I went ahead and took this, checked to see if the air was coming out at the temperature it was supposed to. So I go ahead, look at my vent, aim it towards my vent. See it's coming out at 73 degrees. And you know what? That's, that was a little warm, at least yesterday it was like 75. You put some coolant in, brought it down for me, and it made a real difference. So another reason you can check to see if your air conditioning guy is telling the truth. Now let's go ahead and see if the freezer is cooling like it should. Is it keeping my stuff cold? All right. I had it set to five degrees. Well, it looks like, yeah, negative five is what I had it at. Uh, depending on what I touch, ranging from 7, 3, 2 degrees, etc. Perfect. And of course, that all goes down to, it shows you in negative and positive as well. Um, also, this bedroom runs a little hot in the summer. It's a cooler day today, so it's going to be about 72 degrees. I just checked it. Um, you can see right here, what is it? 72.1. But it's nice to know, like, if you've got a hot side of the house, you can walk in and see what the temperature is what the temperature is in the attic or those rooms that maybe don't get the circulation because your air conditioning doesn't work um, the same in every room of your house. Uh, you wanna check and see if the thermostat, which I have currently set to 73 degrees, is accurate. Well, guess what? We can go, we can look right here and tell that it's 72.8. That's pretty accurate for me. Also, um, working with a car, you can find out temperatures you can actually point this at soup to see if the soup is too hot. If your barbecue grill, something you're working on on the grill is too hot, you know before you touch it, you know before you eat it. And this is just a lot of fun. It's, um, it's useful for us guys that like to do stuff around the house, but it's also um, just a lot of fun to just learn a little bit about the temperatures that you're working with. Before I go up to the attic, before I go up to the studio, I can know the difference in temperature, I can adjust it, and you can know with great accuracy. All right, folks, stick around. You're going to want to pick this up. This is fantastic, but stick around because we're going to show it to you up close. All right, folks, let's go ahead and take a look up close. First, the box, FKM 7830D, infrared thermometer, all the specs and product features on the back. Measuring range of, um, looks like negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 1,112. Um, really easy to use. Um, easy peasy. If I want to measure the temperature of this table, we'll say. Go ahead and point at the table. You can scan an area by moving back and forth and get a good readout of it's about 73.9 degrees. Net weight is 5.93 ounces. Size 6.42 um, by 3.94 by 2 inches. 2.05 inches wide. Um, this is a 12 point clock circular laser uses a 9-volt battery, which it did come with, and it just pops right into the handle. Um, great accuracy on 100 degrees. Over 100 degrees, it's 2%, and under 100 degrees, it's 
um, two degrees Celsius. And yeah, this is great. So go ahead and pick it up. It does have a nice ergonomic handle, easy to use, and just fantastic. Great bright screen. You can see all the different modes and information here. So yeah, go ahead, you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit and stick with uh, Fahrenheit for my use, but pick yours up, you will not be disappointed. All right, folks, thanks again for watching. Adios, amigos.